Hey traders, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I want to share with you about the Martingale strategy. Should you be using it when it comes to Forex trading? Now, the Martingale strategy is a gambling strategy which gamblers like to use. And in today's video, I want to show you whether it is actually helpful. You know, is it a good money management tool that uh, you should be incorporating into your trading? Now, just in case you do not know what the Martingale is, the Martingale strategy is bad, whereby uh, basically you bet a certain percentage of your account and uh, if you were to lose uh, that trade, what you do is that you double up. So in this case, I have an example for you. You can see that uh, let's, let's suppose that um, you risk 1% uh, of your account uh, on the first trade and uh, you're, you, you, lose, you lose money in that trade. So what happens is that your next trade, you're going to double down. So you're going to do 2% and if that trade loses money as well, you are going to double down again. So you can see 1% to 2% is times 2. 2% 2 to 4% is times 2 again and 4% uh, uh, if you lose again, you're going to bet 8% and if you lose, it's going to be 16% and so on and so forth. Okay, but here's the thing. Let's say if you were to win, let's say after maybe three trades of losses, you finally win, uh, you go back to betting 1% uh, of your account. Okay, this is one of the most common forms of Martingale betting strategy. Uh, but, you know, there are many other variations. There are other variations such as, you know, like let's say uh, the first trade, you bet 1% and you make money. Then your second trade, uh, you bet 2%. Uh, and if you make money again, you do 4% and so on and so forth. But uh, in today's video, I just want to show you, uh, you know, a brief overview of the Martingale strategy and share with you my thoughts about um, why you should not be using a Martingale strategy. Okay. In theory, a uh, Martingale strategy sounds very good because you only need to win just once. Okay, think of it this way. Let's say you bet 1% and um, if you were to lose, you bet 2%. If your 2% trade wins, what happens is that you are in profit and you cover back uh, your losses. So it sounds really, really good. So, you know, there are a lot of people who uh, preach this. You know, there are a lot of YouTube channels which tell you that you should be using Martingale. But I think, uh, you know, as an educator, uh, if you know you've been following us, we are always wanting to tell you the truth about trading. So this is actually a very dangerous concept. Okay, it's very, very dangerous. So let me show you why it is very dangerous. In fact, it's one of the fastest way to blow your account. So please do not use a Martingale strategy. It's the fastest way to blow your account. Please run away from any strategy, any algorithm, you know, anyone who tells you to use a Martingale strategy, okay? People who tell you to do Martingale strategy do not have your interest at heart, okay? They could be an introducing broker. They could be the brokerage who, you know, they are betting against you and they want you to blow your account, okay? So if you're in this channel, you know that we really want to help you, okay? We are here to serve you and that's why we tell you the truth, okay? Even if, you know, you do not want to hear it, this is the truth, okay? The truth is that a Martingale strategy will blow your account, okay? It's not the right way to trade. It's not a good, uh, money management uh, strategy that you should be using okay so if you are enjoying this video so far really appreciate you could just take three seconds to like this video right help us to reach uh, 100,000 traders right we want to impact 100,000 traders you can see that uh, we create this video and tell you the truth right because we really care about your success and we are doing all we can to help you become a better trader right so really appreciate you just take three seconds to like the video hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon because you wouldn't want to miss a video that uh, we create, okay? We create a video such as this almost every single day, okay? We also have a free day trading guide, so make sure you download it. The link is in the description, okay? It's completely free. It's meant to help you get started in trading, especially if you are new uh, to trading. Now, the Martingale strategy assumes that you have infinite capital, okay? Meaning that if you had a billion dollars, then uh, you could do this because money will never be a problem for you. You can always uh, put more money in. But let's talk about uh, in reality, okay? Each of us have finite resources. Uh, I don't, I'm sure you don't have, you know, $1 billion in your, in your bank account, right? You have a limit as to how much money uh, you can actually put down and you also have a, your own risk tolerance, okay? Let's, 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 Let's take an example, okay? Let's say that uh, you the risk $100 at a start, okay? And you apply the Martingale strategy, okay? Earlier on, I mentioned that the Martingale strategy involves a doubling down uh, on each trade every time you get it wrong. So let's say in this case, you are really unlucky. Uh, you get 10 losses in a row, okay? Now, before you say that oh, you are not going to get 10 losses in a row, let me tell you, okay? As a trader, I've been trading for more than uh, 16 years. This will happen to you. If you've been trading long enough, you know that getting 10 losses in a row is a certainty. It's going to happen. One day it will happen. So it's not, you know, whether it will happen, it is when it will happen. Okay, so please, um, 10 losses is not, 
it's, it's not uncommon. It happens, okay? If you've been trading for some time, 10 losses is likely to happen uh, once, in, once in a while, okay? It may not be that often, might be once every three years, once every five years, doesn't matter. But the one time that it happens, it's going to blow your account, it's going to damage your bank account. So please do not do that. So let, back to this example, let's say you start with $100 and uh, you risk $100. Let's say you are wrong. You bet $200, let's say you're wrong, you bet $400, you're wrong, 800, 1,000, 6, 3,000, 2, 6,000, 4, 12,000, 8, 25,651, 1,200. So you can see that your losses really compound very fast. Of just a betting of $100, if you do 10 trades, your last trade, you need to bet $51,000 just to recoup your $100 of losses. So it just doesn't make sense, okay? So every time you double down, right? what happens is that your risk to reward gets worse. In this example over here, I have uh, 10 trades. Okay, let's say you lose 10 trades in a row. On your 10 bet, okay, on your this bet over here, okay, on your 10 bet, which is a bet of $51,200, you are basically risking $51,200 to earn $100 and recover back your losses. Now, question is, does that sound like a good risk to reward to you? Personally, I think it's no, right? In fact, everybody should agree that it's, it's no. It's not a good deal, okay? The, the idea is because when you win this, you're actually covering the losses from all these losses, okay? If you add this up together, uh, you will find that um, you, you will be in a slight profit, okay? Because uh, you need to cover these losses. But what happens if, let's say, even if the 10 trade, you, lose, you, you carry on losing money, then you need to double it up to, you know, 102, 400. And that's a lot of money, okay? Most people do not have this kind of capital to keep deploying double down, double down, double down. It's, it's not logical, okay? So please, li li hear it from us, okay? Please do not apply a martingale strategy to your trading account right because it will really blow your account okay it sounds good in theory okay in, in in theory it sounds awesome you know there are a lot of people pitching you that you should be using a martingale strategy but whenever we have subscribers write into us and you know they ask us about this kind of things we get very concerned because we know that there's only one one outcome when you use a martingale strategy and that is you lose a ton of money okay most of the time, you know, if people do a martingale strategy, even if they make money, what happens is that they get greedy and they keep doubling down, even if they are winning, even if they do it this way, where, uh, you know, if they win, uh, they bet 1%, they win, they bet 2%, they win, they bet 4%, they win. Uh, even in this case, what happens is that eventually they get one loss and the one loss wipes out the entire account. Okay, so please do not use this. Now, as always in this channel, I don't just want to tell you what not to do. I want to show you what to do. Okay, what is a better strategy? Okay, I should have mentioned that I want to give you a better strategy, a strategy that is more, uh, it's more, it's more stable, right? It's superior compared to the Martingale. It's what I call the reverse Martingale strategy, which is basically you want to adopt a fixed percentage of your equity. Okay, in the next slide, I will show you an example, but uh, let me just explain how does this work first. Okay, very simple. Now, when your account is growing, meaning that you are doing very well, okay, maybe your account is up 10%, 20%, doesn't matter. Your account is up. You want to raise more money, okay? From a logical standpoint, you want to do that because, number one, because you're in profits, you can afford to raise your profits. Number two, okay, of course, you want to have a bigger risk or bigger trade when you are killing it, when you are nailing it, you are, you're on point, your analysis is on point, you're on fire, okay? Sometimes you see that when we are doing very well on our signals, we will tend to trade more, we tend to give more signals because we are, we are, we are doing well. So if you're doing well, you obviously want to trade bigger, right? It's just logical. And the opposite is also, is also true. Let's say your account is declining, okay? It's dropping, your equity curve is declining. You want to risk less because when your account is dropping, that means that you're not trading well. For some reason, it could be, you know, um, the market condition is not conducive or maybe you didn't have a good sleep. Maybe uh, you are going through something psychologically, uh, you know, you're having a breakup or, you know, something that is affecting you and you cannot trade properly. In this kind of scenario, you want to keep your risk smaller. So when you use this, fixed percentage of your equity, what happens is that when your equity curve is declining, your absolute risk means the absolute dollar, right? how much you risk per, per trade in dollars will be smaller because you are using um, the same percentage of your smaller account right? because the account is declining. Now, if this is confusing to you, let me just uh, go through an example so that uh, you can really understand uh, you know, what I'm trying to say. So in this case, let's say you have $100,000 a trading account over here and uh, you would risk 1% a trade. Okay, so 1% a trade is about uh, $1,000, okay? So let's say you risk $1,000 uh, per trade. Now, 
you are trading really well and you know your account grows to $120,000. So if you stick to this, which is the this uh, reverse martingale strategy, which I'm talking about, where you adopt a fixed percentage of your equity, now your equity is at $120,000. So 1% 1 of $120,000 will be thousand two one thousand two so instead of risking one thousand you are now risking one thousand two okay and take in mind that um right now you are risking one thousand two hundred dollars when you are having good trades when you're doing well so it's very logical that you want to risk more money okay number one because uh, you made a profit of twenty thousand and number two because uh, you are doing well now Suppose, uh, you know, from your $120,000 account, uh, something happens, maybe the market conditions change and you start losing money and you're, you, you're going to draw down. So your account drops to $95,000. So what, what do you do? You are still risking 1% per trade. But in this case, because your equity now is $95,000 and not $120,000, your risk per trade becomes $950. So you can see that if you apply this reverse martingale strategy, what happens is that when your, your, the market is doing well, or rather your trading is doing well and you're making money, you're risking more. Okay, You're risking more over here. Okay, You're risking $200 over here. $200 more, uh, $1,200 is $200 more than $1,000. And in this case, when your account is doing badly, you are risking $50 less. So this is how you should manage your money. Okay, This is a better um, risk management strategy to adopt uh, rather than this uh, Martingale strategy, which is sure to blow your account. So please, really, please, do not use this martingale okay we really do not want to hear you know any emails from you guys saying that uh, you blew your account because someone told you to use this martingale strategy okay please avoid this uh, betting strategy at all costs okay so let me just sum up today's video right i started this video by uh, sharing with you what a martingale strategy is okay i also shared with you that you should never deploy a martingale strategy right it sounds good in theory but it is a fastest way to blow your account right i gave you the math behind why it doesn't work because you basically need infinite capital and it assumes that uh, you know your risk tolerance and uh, capital is there that you're willing to bet for example fifty one thousand two hundred dollars to make hundred dollars okay it's a x it's a terrible risk to reward proposition so do not do that okay and then i gave you the better strategy that you could uh, adopt what i call the superior strategy over the martingale which is called the reverse martingale strategy where you only increase your risk your absolute risk per trade uh, when you make money okay and when you're losing money you want to decrease your risk okay your percentage is fixed you can use x percent okay it doesn't matter what x is but of course x shouldn't be too big it shouldn't be like five percent or ten percent it could be anywhere between one to three percent per trade of your equity but what you want to do is that when you are doing well you want to increase uh, your your risk per trade in uh, absolute amount and when you're losing money you want to decrease okay that will help you stay alive uh, when you're in a losing streak right it will, it will not blow your account and if you follow this strategy it's almost impossible for you to blow your account okay because every time your account goes down uh, you're risking less and less and less money uh, as you trade okay so this will preserve your account and you'll literally save your soul Okay, so please uh, take it from us, right? Do not use a martingale strategy. If you need any, you know, advice on other strategies, right? You have questions like this, please ask us because we really do not like to receive emails that uh, you guys blow your account. Right? We feel that uh, if we have the knowledge to help you avoid this kind of scenario, uh, we will record a video, okay? Even if it's just one person who, you know, have this issue, we will record a video just for you, okay? So please leave a comment down below if you need any help, right? If you have any questions about this strategy, right? Please give us a thumbs up at the same time, right? Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon, okay? If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.